All right, we back. We back. This motherfucker, what's up, baby? Oh shit. No more no more tanks. We got no more tanks. We got this. Oh no, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. This is not for y'all. That's your bitch ass. Where'd he go? Where's his body? Oh, that's lame. No way. There goes that. That's so mean. Kick it down, bro. Ah, 
That's lame. Here you go, ma'am. I mean, Grandma, I got your pills. Took your sweet time, Jerry. Mm hmm Had to grab a pint with your mates after work again, is that it? You could have let me know before we got married. The day where your what? true loves. <laughs> well, here's your tea. See what kind of wife you have? No, no, I'm not your husband, remember? I'm your... Grandson? Shit. Now I'm confused. Take these, please. They should help. That's so sweet you brought them, Aiden. Huh? Wait, 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 wait. So, you remember my name? You know who I am? I... Oh, my. Oh, all right. Ah, uh, here mm -hmm. we go. I might have exaggerated my memory problems a little bit. One can get used to this epidemic. Even to the infected. But to loneliness? Never. What's the point of surviving if I have no one to share my life with? And you. Do you have a grandmother still alive? Do you drop by for tea with her? I'm an orphan. Never had a grandma. Truly? Then you do not even know what you are missing. I know so many stories. Oh, shit. Would you like to listen? <sighs> Fuck it. I... I'd love to. Drop by whenever you feel like it, and I'll be glad to tell you. Well, People bring hurt on themselves when they I, ask too much from I life. I never pressed talk. Okay. Life is so I much. never pressed talk. Why are you talking? Well, lively. <laughs> okay. I'd love to hear your story now. Fuck it. I, I am Bosnian. Let a call. I survived the siege of Sarajevo by the Yugoslav army oh, shit. during the war in Bosnia and Herzegovina. It started in 92. 92. And lasted four years. Quick, the longest and bloodiest siege in the history of Europe after World War II. My mother and I were hiding in the basement. Very tight, very uncomfortable. It was hard to sleep. One day, a boy showed up. He was maybe seven years old. His name was Daniel. His okay. parents had been killed by mortar shells. Ooh. Higher up, you could sneak away from snipers, avoiding unprotected streets. But you could never predict where the missiles would fall. It was only a matter of time before Daniel would die. He came by every day, but my mother never suggested that he stay the night. We lacked food. And a third person would have made it impossible to sleep. One day, Daniel sat with us, and I could see how troubled he was. He had big brown eyes. Can I stay with you? Mother changed the subject. Ooh. In the following days, Ruthless. she did that three more times. Until finally, she let him stay. Might she change her mind? I asked her the same question. She said... I had to remind myself what it meant to be human. I have remembered that my whole life. When the virus broke out, Stay human. I sheltered dozens of immigrants. People think of themselves to survive. But they won't survive if they think only of themselves. Wow. I never thought about it like that. I'm glad I met you. Do you have another story? No? Shit. Must Hold on. We need to resolve this amicably. We can't let the situation become violent. Whoa. Is my guardian angel. Guardian angel? If you hadn't helped with the renegades, I'd be out of work right now, or worse. <laughs> That's more math doing. Hey, don't be modest. On the house. 
I'm Nicholas. You know Frank well? Not old military buds well, but a special, quite the high ranking, until one mission. He, after that, he ditched the uniform and started the fish out. Took out a new lease on life, but he became... I've seen him on a bet. Then imagine what... Hey, tell me about... Frank says women like her were given call signs based on Bloody Mary. Lawan is hot shit with a hot temper. You do not cross her once and that's it. So, uh, how... The fish are two days, and even bad, anyone can relax. I gotta go. Wait. You interested in making a bit of money? And how would I do that? It's a simple job. There's a metro station under the fish eye. Used to be UV lamps in the metro that kept the infected at bay. But they stopped working because every tunnel and station is infested. What happened? Might be the lamps, but I doubt it. Maybe something... But what? It's not like it'd take a lot of biters to accomplish that. On the other... Heard a couple stories like that. About infected, as if they're smarter than we... Once, this guy at the bar told me he fell into a... He claimed a group of biters herded him into a dead end in a dark zone, intentionally. They didn't act like a typical mindless swarm. Said he only managed to survive by climbing onto a trash bin to reach a fire escape above the pack. But no, I wouldn't put much faith in that. If that were possible, I think we could be a blown fuse. So, you... Yeah. If so, you could just reset the main... Before you go, got a little something that'll help you out. A house specialty. Guaranteed to warm those biters' bellies. I mean, I got just like a bit of house food, a bottle and an old rag. But powerful stuff. Or you can always just sneak in past the biters if you don't want to make a ruckus. Once you turn on the UVs, they'll fry anyway. And you won't end up wasting good hooch. All right, I'll take care of it. But that wine, though. Let me get that wine, though. Hayden, remember to go there after dark. You gave me six of During them? the day, it's filled with nasty. Holy smokes. Yeah, thanks. It is night. Why do I hear the effect? Carrier here. Here's a message. Thank you. <sighs> well, um, it's from my boyfriend. Oh my god. He's finally leaving his wife. What? Huh. Congratulations. It's fucked up. My wife and I separated months ago. She was very understanding. I'm just glad Len finally got the courage to be honest to his wife. Now, we can get on with our lives. Yeah, but like, why'd y'all get married in the first place? Like, ain't that fucked up to your wives, bro? Well, look at this guy. This guy needs a wife or boyfriend or something. Settle his ass down. <laughs> uh, where am I going next? He's look so stupid. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, that's so far. This motherfucker's really making me go that far. Oh no, not the lag and shit again, bro. Is that right? Am I supposed to go? Oh, 
Let's do that. What? Trying to fucking hit him. What? Hello. I'm from the Carrier's Guild. I have a letter for Barry. Mom? Mommy? It's a letter from Dad. Careful. Don't tear the letter when you open it. I won't, Mom. I swear. Bless you, Carrier. You made my son's day. Oh, well, thank you. See, my people need to be like you. No tip? You ain't gonna give me no tip, cuz? I'll take a bless. I'll take a blessing. I have a letter for you. Finally. I'm sorry, sir. I brought the letter as soon as it was given to me. Finally, I slapped the fuck out of you. No, I'm not upset with you. It's my son. Weeks without hearing from him. Thought he was dead. I'm about to say, No you, concern huh? for his father. I'm thankful for you, Carrier. At least now I know my idiot son is still alive. Tip. Good tip, dog. Hey, Driscoll. Job done. All packages delivered safely. Well, that's what I want to hear. Come good by here. when you can. I've got something for you. Remember, later on. you can always take the metro to get here quicker. Hold on, isn't is part of my story here? Might as well just do it, no? Yeah. First, we're here, we're come back here later. Aiden! You know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in old Villador? It can't happen again. 
We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague, from the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden, what do you need this database for? What does it contain? No trip, chop chip. I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere, or that's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Mm -hmm. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps Butch? his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another and another until you get the answers you're looking for. Why are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? Oh. They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge, people captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure, and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Fine. But what do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center on the VNC Tower Spire. Wait, you want to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. I'll do my part, but what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get Waltz for you. You're working with Loan, which makes me think you're looking for him too. Okay, I'm in. Good. The Butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure the city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> oh shit! <coughs> oh boy, infected. I saw you picking those. I saw that. We'll share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. Yo. You don't have to call me sir. To friends, I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Oh, okay, sir. <laughs> Aiden, what do you want, son? These renegades. Not f I'm not sure it's gonna be so sim simple. Do you think that I mean, they keep oh, correct give by sim so the yeah, what? Yeah, this much to say. Then. Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck then. What are you gonna looking over here? It's not like you have a fucking nice view or anything. <laughs> Why is that lit up? Howdy, partner.
Can I help you? Can you? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. What's up? What's up? What's up? A little what's reward up? for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight. A UV flashlight would come in handy. Thanks. He said something about a plan. The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the top now. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. What makes it so A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Mm. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. But they ain't me though. Wait, wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner's screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up. Drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the Night Runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game here and now. So a bunch of them couldn't do it, but y'all okay. sent me out to Let's do it going. by myself. Okay, the in place? They would be if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide and seek the last few days, and so look in on Juan first. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. Oh hell, yeah, I'll do that for sure. Who the fuck, bitch? You don't tell me go. I'll fucking slap you in the face. Fetch this, dump that. UV flashlight. Equip that bitch right now. I think we need these. Where is it? Where is it? What? For Juan Rayner. You don't appear to be on a schedule. It's schedule? urgent. The commander sent me. So, Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Jacques Rayner is not here. I can't take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't help. Monsieur Rayner's whereabouts are no one's business. I will slap you too. I'm a hand of ass whooping a slaps to everybody here. Oh, uh, what's one do for fun? No, wait, but you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? 
Miss Irena is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that works on two legs. Is he near <laughs> any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop in on him there. I try, but no. I won't say. Oh, I will slap the mother of Matt's not gonna be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Can I throw some? Hey, Luan. Hey then. Getting settled in the city? Working on it. About to slap a hole real quick. A supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true faith. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan? He likes to make himself scared. Probably lurking around the fisheye. Oh, the is that right? The slick bastards even you got heard that? on the table there. Bribed the cook to bring him off-menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I look for him there. Good luck finding him. Good luck, Lawan. And good luck if you do find him. Good, what, what does that mean? What does that mean? How are you going to end there like that? That's fucked up. What's up? You heard hey, that? I know where he's at. Yes. What, do you what are you reading? Carnival of the Sad. Into bondage, are you? Um, uh, afraid not. Nope. <laughs> People trying to tie me down? Bad memories. No. No, of course you're not. But don't worry. Maybe you'll grow into it one day. Uh, yeah. Why don't Juan and Jack Matt, uh, like. Because Jack Matt wants everyone. And I, for example, want everyone to be who they want to be. Maybe that's why Juan and I get along so well. After all, the world has ended. So yes. what's up with you and Juan, The huh? rules have changed. So I do what I want and don't ask anyone for permission anymore. Let it go now. Au revoir. Au revoir. If I had a bottle, I'd throw it at your head. Excuse me? <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. All I did for your ass is get out Come and tell me. Oh, these are the busters, huh? Juan Rainer? You lost, man? We didn't call for a waiter. I've got orders to find you, from Meyer and the commander. And my name's- I know who you are, Aiden. After that bang up with the renegades, half the canteen wants to name their most precious offspring after you, including Vinny here. But you interrupted our meal. State your purpose in one sentence, then please make yourself scarce. Well, you know perfectly well why I'm here. The UV lamps. Meyer says you owe the peacekeepers a delivery. And you think your barking will make an impression on me? The lummox in Chief Jack thinks he can scent his terrier, and everyone will wet themselves in terror. But what can I expect? He can't tell the difference between champagne and a crystal chalice, or water from a dog's bowl. He has an ounce of refinement. Isn't that right, Vinny? I don't know. Don't be afraid. It's not like Jack is gonna march in and have you hang. At least not now. Ah, uh. oh, Vinny. When will you grow a spine? You want my attention, Aiden? Show me you deserve it. What can Bitch. you offer me? Fucking slap to the face. Look, I could help you out as easily as I'm trying to help Matt. I don't doubt that. I've heard you were a pilgrim. But you're new here. Smashing the skulls of a few peasants doesn't mean everyone wants to lift you up on their backs. You have to be more subtle with people. Everyone has their own desire, their, their own price. Your pitch just isn't working for me quite yet. Try again. Mm-hmm. 
would I fuck? I'm How about a court martial? Matt can do that, right? <laughs> a court martial? You have no idea who you're talking to, do you? Who would hash out the contracts with the suppliers? Who would feed the army, provide it with weapons and clothing? A week without me, and the peacekeepers will be left with nothing. Supply is everything. Try again, man. And don't improv this time. <sighs> I'm... <sighs> You've used up all your time. Didn't pique my interest. But what is it you want, Juan? <sighs> like they used to say, if you gotta ask the price, you can't afford it. Sometimes I wake up at night thinking... Returning to more pressing matters. And? What should we try next? Did you make headway with the pop of that? Never met a guy quite like him before. I told you. Come see me back at my place. We'll talk. I want to slap the fuck out of him so bad. Come on, tell me. This shit ain't even funny. I want to... Oh my god. And I swear, if you say something, girl, I'm... Ugh, I'm pissed. I need to go kill some fucking... <laughs> what do you call it? What are you doing? Okay. Sweet weapon you got there, Aiden. Oh, thanks, bud. Uh, you know what? I wish I could give it to you, to be honest. That'd be badass. I don't need it. Let me guess. He scarfed down five horses and had a hot young woman at his side. A young man. Young but man. the rest is accurate. He's a piece of work, all right. Well, I need him to get back to work. Jack needs UV lamps and Juan's dragging his feet. Hmm. That'll be tough. Juan barely listens to Jack. So he'll be an even tougher audience for you. He has his own men and power base, and he loves rubbing Jack's nose in that. And what can I do about that? Same as everyone else. Bribe him. He likes fine art, antiques, expensive shit from before the fall. When he sees something that used to be valuable, he can't stop himself. Zero self-control. Hmm. All right, where can I find something like that? I heard of an old Polish guy who lived in a penthouse by Liberation Passage. They say he was an art collector. You can try his place. You can only get there via paraglider. That's why there's a chance something's left. I'll be on the radio and guide you to him. What about you, huh? Going on a hunt? No, a party. Oh, it's Daniel's okay. birthday, but you never know when a guest list will overlap with a hit list. Why don't you come and have a drink with us when you're done with one? I don't think Daniel likes me. He doesn't like anybody. We'll be in touch. Fuck it, party up, go! Where the party at? No, 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 I didn't want to do this, but okay. Trouble citizen. Uh, I'm so far too. Damn it. Better be worth it. Oh, it's these guys, huh? What's up, G? Came in like Superman, bro. What's up? I don't know how to thank you. Will this do? Oh, shit, I guess. Uh-huh. 
That was on purpose. <laughs> How's it going? Not good. Are there yet? Uh, not yet. I've reached the building, but how did you say I should get to the top? Use a vent. There should be one on the roof. What? When you get there, stand on it, jump, and open your paraglider. Easy. That sounds sketchy. Name the last non-sketchy thing you've done running around this town. Too shady. <laughs> What's that? Over there? Oh. Now you want to fucking tell me this Am I supposed to go up? Ah. Piano, I want to play. Luan, there's nothing left in here. Daniel said it's a virgin spot. Keep looking. A virgin spot. Non touched, huh? I swear there was another. whatever. He took his paintings, but no room for Jessica. <laughs> That's fucked what up. a romantic son of a bitch. of what he took, it seems. Juan would be pleased. Voice message from 5.36 p.m. Mr. Bukowski, your transport is en route to you. The art collection should be on the roof already. Soon as the chopper is over the city, we'll call again. No way. Juan, I think I found a stash. A helicopter was coming for this guy. They sent everything to the roof. I'm headed there to look. Good luck. Yeah, right here, no? What is this? Uh-huh. Uh, oh my. Is that his girl? She waited this whole time? Or is that him? Ah, oh, fuck. There aren't any paintings left. Everything's been destroyed. Hey, Luan, found our collector, but no sign of his collection. 
Luan? Hey, you there? Jesus, Aiden. I told you I was leaving. Okay, quick thing. Nothing here except for a bottle of whiskey and one of vodka. At least the whiskey's the good stuff. Juan likes a good whiskey. Maybe if you get him shit-faced, he'll loosen up, so to speak. So you still in the canteen? I saw him leaving. Seemed to be heading back to the ship. Probably no. to his quarters. Okay, I'll go there. And listen, that vodka, Danier is a big fan. If you're planning to drop by, which you probably aren't. But if you really want to get to know this city, this is the way. Just saying. Just tell me you want me to come, bro. Shit. Again, ten day. I'm a ten day. It's a party. Hmm. Let's talk to this guy. A zombie in there. <laughs> oh, is he on thrones, huh? Fuck you, dude. I'm, I'm out. Why is he walking? Yo, what's up, G? Good work, hotshot. What did you think? All sorts of letters and recipients out there. It's the network, like I said. You just helped expand it. Looks like your carrier material after all. Are you ready and willing to take the oath? Uh, really? Uh, pilgrims aren't that formal, huh? Maybe that's part of your problem, hotshot. If you want this, then you'll repeat after me. Fine. Uh. Let's do this. I, initiate of the Carrier's Guild. I, initiate of the Carrier. Swear to serve all the citizens of... Swear to serve... To face any dangers and safely deliver all... To face... I will do so with the... Um I will do so with... By the power granted me. Welcome to the fold, hotshot. Let me know when you're ready to start. Uh, trade? Trade? What's up? You ain't got shit. So. 
Oh, I'm gonna take this shit. I need some shit. <laughs> Ooh, what was it? Well, one of these. Oh, no, this one's better. I have 11 of these and 10 of them. Wow. Can I have that too? Let me give you some valuables, dog. What's up, y'all? Part of the team now. Oh, for real? Y'all a bunch of weirdos. I'm out. Um, uh, I'm ready, Driscoll. Got an assignment for me? Well, I do. But first, let me lay some carrot. Okay. I'm a bit of a history buff. I did not. I. It's how the pharaohs sent out decrees. Think of the ancient tradition. I will. See that you do, hotshot. It's marked urgent. So I'm only sending you out with this one. Now don't get distracted. It'll get where it needs to go. I think I'm gonna do it, fuck. Just in case. Wait, what? It's a baby carrier. So much for this being an elite group. Pilgrim? Fuck that shit. Now what's your problem? You better not become my problem. For all we know, you could be the next Derek waiting to happen. I'll fuck the you next up. Who? What the hell are you talking about? Never you mind, baby carrier. Just keep your nose clean around here. I'll be watching you. Watch great. me. Then you can watch me flip you the bird. Yeah. Oh, great. Baby Carrier's a comedian, too. Yes, sir. This place is going to shit. Coming from you, I guess I'm just upholding your legacy. Ah, damn, dude, I like it. He got the great comeback. That's bro. just Jack. Ignore him, compañero. It doesn't look like he's going to let me ignore him. Tranquilo. His bark is worse than his, uh, chew? Is that the word? Me amo Jaime, by the way. Hey, Jaime. Being a carrier is dangerous. We're a small group, and we rely on each other. I feel you. So, you're a pilgrim. Mm-hmm. Good. You've seen and done things. Oh, yeah. Sometimes, those novatos get people killed. Aiden, did this Derek get someone killed? Luckily, no. Derek was just plain loco. loco. An adrenaline junkie. Ah, uh, one of them. We all take this seriously, but he was obsessed. In a way, you had to admire his dedication, even if he was fanatical. So what happened? Turns out, the cabron was also a regular junkie. Scarfed up all the stimulants in the supply lockers like some crazed Pac-Man. Left the other carriers with tough deliveries in the lurch. What became of him? Booted out on his ass. <laughs> no room for a Scarface in the carrier's guild, amigo. Recipe for death and disaster. I feel you. Let me guess. Jack led the campaign against Derek. And he was very effective, amigo. I'm sure he was. That's it. Cool. Man, this episode here. Till next time, y'all.